how's it going guys? My name is Jacob Gerard and this is my presentation on flying in bad weather. So, the scenario that was given to us. Two pilots are flying a long cross-country flight and encounter bad weather. The pilot flying wants to uh, pretty much get a weather update from ATC, but because of how busy they are, uh, they can't actually give them the information at that time. Um, this is, you know, scary for pilots when they're flying and uh, kind of needs to be addressed and dealt with quickly, efficiently, and without, you know, causing someone else's safety to be compromised. So, what tools to use? Um, the G1000s have Nexrad. Uh, look for close airports to get the ATIS, AWAS, and uh, could use HIWAS. And as you can see right there, that VOR, there is a uh, HIWAS available. So how does the G1000 help in a situation like this? Uh, the G1000 Nexrad is delayed uh, quite a bit, so you can't rely off of it, but it does provide pilots with a rough estimate of weather. Um, you know, it tends to be delayed 10 to 15 minutes or so, and um, you can't rely off of trying to, you know, break through a gap, but it does give you a great estimate um, and what to look out for in that area. The AWAS or ATIS can be obtained from close airports. The G1000 can show which airports are close and can also show the latest ATIS report on the MFD or PFD if you have that setting. Um, this is great because, you know, it might be difficult bouncing around on, you know, fourth flight on your tablet, but you can click the airport and it will give all the information using the G1000. Uh, so this is, you know, frequencies, information on the FBO, phone numbers, fuel, what's available, but also it will give you a form of the ATIS or uh, AWAS, um, which is great. Uh, the high WAS gives pilots in-flight weather advisories as well. Um, these are a little harder to find, but uh, they do offer, you know, a great source of information. Additional features. So having two radios, the G1000 allows for a pilot to remain on the primary frequency while also listening to another. Uh, this means that the pilot can set the secondary comm to, you know, the airfield nearby with uh, weather reporting tools and listen to their ATIS while also remaining on the frequency in case, the, you know, the uh, ATC has to say something to them. Uh, this is essential because it allows you to get weather much quicker and if he's busy it may be very difficult to actually request a frequency change for a brief moment to get weather information. And as you can see there, there is a uh, ASOS uh, weather tool um, It pretty much is what gives you the information. So, continued, uh, the G1000 also shows wind information during flight. As you can see right there, I have it circled in red. Uh, it pretty much just shows the wind information. You can have a few different settings, you know, that's very simple, but you can also have the heading and wind speed, uh, which is very helpful in flight. Yep, there we go. So, a... Uh, Bible verse uh, that I thought that was related to this uh, is Peter 4.10. Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Um, pretty much this is just stating that it's essential to use your resources uh, wisely. Um, the G1000 has tons of different resources, uh, especially when flying an IMC, you really want to utilize those. Um, you know, it's whether it's the wind, pulling up the information on the closest airport, they do have close nearest, uh, using the soft key, you can hit the nearest, and it will show which airports are close, which uh, is, you know, the most efficient way to get to that. So it's, um, it's really essential to use all these tools, especially if, you know, a pilot finds themselves in a poor situation where they might, you know, be worried for their safety. You know, if ATC is so busy and they don't want to declare an emergency, which, you know, most pilots don't want to, uh, it's essential to use these other tools, you know, getting HIWAS, getting ATIS, ASOS, you know, using that information, looking at the next RAD to see, you know, what you guys might be flying through. Um, it's all very helpful and should be utilized. So uh, thank you guys for my listening in, and I look forward to hearing from you. And that is my reference, so thanks.